If your power, if your God has never declared peace, how can you? If your power, if your God has never declared peace, how can you? Has your power declared peace? Or did he say I'm coming back for blood? So what's all this peace talk about? You know, they say peace, they mean war. They say peace, they fumigate. They say peace, they poison the water. They say peace. We are shot dead in the street. There's martial law. If your God has never declared peace, how can you? Shout out to Hallway CH. Bruh, thank you for doing this. Um, and yeah, man, love to smiles, man, for... Uh, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Pushing those right buttons to get you reading, man. Um, that's dope that you guys have that build, man. Um, that's incredible. So, love to you guys. Love to your entire family, man. You guys are an incredible burst of energy, man. Uh, same thing with smiles, man. When you drop something, man, I get super excited. You know what I mean? I, don't, I just know it's going to come, man. Just hook, line, sinker, man. Because, you know, it's, it's all pure water where, where you guys are coming from. And I appreciate that. So, thank you. I'm just going to drop it and, uh, you know, just let you spit it. And, you know, yeah, this is real dope, man. We're talking about the mounds. You know, we just broke down. Go back to that series, man. Sinking in Egypt. Slave vibration. Don't take my word for it that this is a slave vibration. Don't take, you know, the archaeologists and the scientists and the people that are tuning these uh, or, or measuring these these uh, tuning frequencies inside the king's chambers and the pyramid of Giza is coming out to 440. Different pyramids are coming out to 440. Don't take the uh, mysteries of the Mexican pyramids word for it. You know, that's breaking down the, the actual harmonics themselves of these pyramids. All that drop is here for you. If you want to click the links underneath. But this is another substantiating source that this brother's bringing out from these uh, sacred text link links and uh, they uh, you know are essentially being translated and they're talking about the mounds man they're talking about the mounds how the people feel about the mounds they're talking about how the people feel about the mounds how the people feel about the mounds who are the people alright so these so called Maya which I declare are the Negro let's see how they felt about the mounds or the pyramids remember when they find mounds in north america when, when they find pyramids in north america they call them mounds you know what i mean so they're pyramids in the eastern hemisphere but on the western hemisphere science calls them mounds and they're called the mound builders and we say yeah they're dark melanated people like me well you only know half the truth yes there are they are dark melanated people but they're not indigenous here. These were the Nephilim. The Atlanteans building stuff, building artificial harmonics. Let's see what the people had to say about the pyramids. So my sister texted me and Hopefully you can hear said, when are you going to make another video? And I was like, I haven't, I haven't even been like reading like that. And she said, you should read, you'll immediately, you know, find something. So, <laughs> that, that definitely happened. Um, so, still on the sacred text, but I clicked Native American because I found it interesting. Like, they had all the religions in a line over here. But I clicked Native American, and I read the first two chapters of, um, of this. The prophecies, very important prophecies of the Maya. I think that's what it was called. Um... But when I got to three, it was insane. Like, this is crazy. Okay. I'm going to start reading. A prophecy for Katun 11 Ahau. I think that's 11. Katun 11 Ahau is set upon the mat, the mat, not set upon the throne. When their ruler is set up, Yaxel Chak is in its face to the ruler, to their ruler. Is its face to their ruler. The heavenly fan, the heavenly wreath. And the heavenly bouquet shall descend. The drum and rattle of the Lord of Eleven Ahau shall resound. When flint knives are set into his, man his mantle. At that time there shall be the green turkey. At that time there shall be Zalun 
Zulin Chan. At that time there shall be Chakan Putun. They shall they shall find their food among the trees. They shall find their food among the rocks. Those who have lost their usual food in Katun 11 Ahu. So this reminds me of, of you know, what we're going to be going through, finding our food on the trees and the rocks. But this was prior. So literally history repeated itself. Um, Ahu is the beginning of the counts. Because this was the Katun when the foreigners arrived. They, be, they came from the east when they arrived. Then Christianity also began. So this is talking about the Spaniards, I believe, when they came over. The fulfillment of its prophecy is ascribed to the east. The Katun is established at Iken Zihu. Iken Zihu. This is a record of the things which they did. After it had all passed, they told of it in their own words. So you know the victors write history. But its meaning is not plain. Still the course of events was as it is written. But even when everything shall be thoroughly explained, hold on, let me scroll down, thoroughly explained, perhaps not so much is written about it, nor has very much been written of the guilt of their conspiracies with one another. So it was with the ruler of Itza, with the men who were rulers of Iz Izamal, Aki Uxmal, Ikin Ziho, and Kitab Kohu also. Very many were the head chiefs, and many a conspiracy they made with one another. But they are not made known in what is written here. Not so much will be related. Still, see, not so much will be related. Still, he who comes of our lineage will know. One of us who are Maya men. So even though they, they corrupted the history and wrote it weird. If you come from the lineage, you'll understand. It's saying this in their prophecies. Like, this is why we're understanding. This is why we're getting this. We're the lineage. No matter how much they, they can make it confusing, we still get it. Drop. We can be proud of that. We don't have to be shy about this. Remember, the beef comes when we put another power before our power. In this terrain. In this paradise of ours. It belongs to us. We should be very proud of that. Not so proud that we boast above the power source that we come from. Not so proud that we boast of the stars that were created by the source we come from. That we built shrines and artificial acoustics and call them things and worship these things and say, yeah, these harmonics help the earth. Does the most high power need help? with his harmonics so what's the real reason for the pyramids right and that's what we broke down in that six part 10 hour series sinking of egypt the artificial grid now we break the simulation drop down and you see damn that's the simulation in the simulation in the consciousness construct what do the people have to say about the pyramids because Still he who comes of our lineage will know, one of us who are Maya men. He will know how to explain these things when he reads what is here. You see, this is how, you know, this, <laughs> this is crazy. You already know the people, I don't even have to say their names. When he sees it, then he will explain the adjust adjustment, adjustment of the in intricacy of the Katun by our priest, Akin Zuluk. But Xuluk was not his name formally. It was only because these priests of ours were to come to an end when misery was introduced. When Christianity was introduced by the real Christian. Boom. Bang. Pow. Ping. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Yo. That's it, man. That's it. That's it. That's it. That is it. So somebody, you know, would say, yeah, man, you know, the scripture says, you know, that the light will be dim, you know, from our prophet's eyes, you know what I'm saying, in terms of them not being able to see visions anymore. The prophets can't dream dreams. They can't see. 
a separate substantiating source, which we, in our journey, in our thesis, or should I say hypothesis at this point, because we're running with it, our thesis <laughs> is simply that we are the energy of the Creator and that we are the heritage of the Creator. All right? That's our thesis. And in that, we are the Negro, so called, which is also the so called Aztec, which is also the so called Maya, which is also the so called Anasazi. All these things, names for the same people, all these bywords for the same people. And we get lost in the construct of religion and lose focus. Lose Focus on the simplicity of just being energy, frequency, and vibration. So once we get the construct of this consciousness down, we understand that some people have a signature that connects above other people's. Yeah, we're not all created equal. I'm sorry. But I'm not. Because people have been getting banged on, man. The people with the highest consciousness have been getting banged on and kept sleep. Told they're black told they're from Africa, told they're this and this and this, and these are the people that got rolled up on by, yeah, I mean, everybody got rolled up on in different ways, but man, 300 million people over here, man, a lot of us were here, right, a lot of us were here, but we're talking about the Maya, and they're talking about the Spaniards rolling up. And I'm talking about Israel. Are they talking about Israel? Then with the true God, the true Dios, and I, I looked up Dios. Dios, I don't know why they show Jesus. It just means God in, in Spanish. So, um, <laughs> then with the true God, the true Dios, came the beginning of our misery. So with this Jesus Christ, came their misery? I, I, I don't know. Yes. If that's talking about Heya Heya, or if that's talking about Jesus Christ, what they call Jesus, Zeus, Abaddon, Apollyon, the hijack. Yes, the hijack. Call the true gods, because Christian, anyway, um, it was the beginning of tribute, the beginning of church dues, the beginning of strife with purse snatching, the beginning of strife with blowguns. The beginning of the end. The catastrophic event, man, that shut us down for good. Even when we were lost in the underworld and the celestial, which is underneath the vibrational layer of that which we call the firmament. You might call it a dome. One day there would not be a dome, right? Because we will all be connected in our energy from top to bottom. So there will be no point of separating anything. But for now, there must be a separation, right? There must be a separation between the holy and the unholy. Are you holy? Or do you need to tune up and choose up? Let's keep going. Hallway, man. You're killing it, brother. Thank you for doing this. Man, every day I need a drop. <laughs> Love to you. The beginning of strife by trampling on people. The beginning of robbery with violence. The beginning of forced debts. The be oh, crap. The beginning of debts enforced by false testimony. Mm. The beginning of individual strife. A, a false testimony. What is your commandment in stone going back a thousand BC in Los Lunas, New Mexico? Don't, wit, don't, don't bear false witness against your brother. So this is the beginning of the breaking of these certain commandments as far as their circle is concerned. Bearing false witness and robbery by force and forced debt. You don't need debt. You only need debt when you're putting people into slavery. You deal with other ways and bartering and different things like that, but you don't have all this money and commerce and, and all this kind of stuff like that, man. It's more like Here's some gold. Here's some silver. Here's some this. Here's some that. Here's some trade. Yada, yada, yada. But nobody was, you know, forced to be in debt. If you were in debt, it's because you were choosing to be in debt. <laughs> so this is the beginning of forced debt, man. This is the beginning of hell. Hell. But hell had already started in a sense when we understand the feathered serpent.
beginning of vexation, a beginning of robbery with violence. This was the origin of service to the Spaniards and priests, of service to the local chiefs, of service to the teachers, of service to the public prosecutors by the boys, the service. youths of their town, while the poor people were harassed. They were, they were the very poor people who did not depart when oppression was put upon them. The, mm. Oh my God. They were the very poor people who did not depart when oppression was upon was put upon them. It was by Antichrist on earth. The who, could, who are the very poor people today that cannot depart or will not depart when oppression is put upon them? Come on, you can do it. You got to relate this to yourselves or you're going to go insane with false and misidentification. Identify yourself in history. I don't even like to say the word history. That's even a misnomer, man. Identify yourself in the truth. Anchor yourself in the truth. What's your identity? These people, they say, disappeared. You don't have a land. They just vanished. You have no clue who you are. They are talking about being rolled up on and invaded. You think you just got here from Africa. Do you understand? Identify yourself. Your heritage. Your land. Your people. No, you are not Maya. That is what they called you. You're going to understand where it breaks back down to. Are we talking about the kingdom of Israel? Jews of the town. The foxes of the town. The blood-sucking insects of the town, those who drain the poverty of the working people. But it shall still come to pass that tears shall come to the eyes of our Lord God. The justice of our Lord God shall descend upon every part of the world straight from straight from God upon Acantino, Ixpukilo, the av avaricious hagglers of the world. So that's crazy. And then there's some footnotes. Um, so, um, 77.3, I don't know if how, like, the verses work in this, but a discussion of my prophecies will be found in Appendix D, literally the green rain, God, rain is green in the Maya picture, what is going on, focus, oh yeah, um, in the Maya picture, so, like, and all that these are literally like prophecies like oh my god like i didn't think that this would be like nah well i knew i knew but yeah anyway you should read this prophecy for katoon i'm gonna click next and see oh the building of the mound this is short let me read this in the year 1541 oh 1541 mm -hmm. 1541 yeah okay anyway the history which i have written of how the mounds came to be construction constructed by the heathen during three score and 15 cartoons the history of how the mounds were constructed by the what Don't you play, play. Don't you be so rude. Let me get that back. Because, I, I mean, that's as pure water as you're going to get with this. This is coming from a different source. It's not coming out your Bible, your Torah. It's not coming from King Drop. This is coming from another source, these sacred texts. And this is from their translation. So, <laughs> look. If the white man, you know what I'm saying, is telling you from Africa. And you clearly, you know have these pyramids in Egypt and everything like that, then clearly he's kind of directing you back to the pyramids in Egypt, right? So then it's kind of like, okay, well, he's giving that to you as a distraction. So we get there, we say, oh, look at this powerful black nation, these black people, this power. Look at these, uh, you know, artifacts. They, these people look like us, all this stuff like that. You get enamored by it because you're asleep. You're just asleep, but you're identifying with the first shiny thing you see, Right? Anybody who's thirsty when they see some water, it's going to run to it. So we're thirsty for identity. So we run to so-called Egypt until we realize that Egypt is not Kemet. And that Tahuti himself in his own words is saying, I put a vibration of, 
I made these people cower at my feet. And I did magic science on them. And I helped them with their soul force. So you're getting that out the emerald tablet substantiated by this sacred, separate sacred text. Breaking down the Maya. Meanwhile, I break down the Maya quiches and other people break down the Maya quiches and it keeps going back to Israel. And now they say that these mounds were constructed by heathen. Well, who were calling the people heathen? Where are we getting that from? Are we going back to the Torah? Lego. Make sure I got a good spot. Hold up. You know what I mean? I get too excited sometimes. Let's get it from here. My picture. So, like, and all that. These are literally like prophecies. Like, oh my God. Like, I didn't think that this would be, like, not. Nah, well, I knew. I knew, but. I apologize if y'all hear my little soldier crying, man. You know, he just be tripping sometimes. He's tired, so. Daddy daycare. Yeah, anyway, you should read this prophecy for Katoon. I'm going to click next and see. Oh, the building of the mound. This is short. Let me read this. In the year 1541. Oh, 1541. 1541. Okay, anyway. The history which I have written of how the mounds came to be constructed constructed by the heathen during three score and 15 cartoons they were constructed the great i think that's like three thousand no 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 like um i don't know shit i think a score is 40 years so that's like i suck at math forget it the, the great men the great men made them then the reminder then the reminder of the men went to cartabona as the land where they were is where they were is called today. Why do I keep sucking my teeth? That's annoying. <laughs> they were, they were when San Bernabe, they there they were when San Bernabe, Bernabe came to teach them. So I guess how to build the mounds. Then they were killed by the men. The men were called heathens. So, nah, man, these people are wicked. The men were called heathen. They were called heathen, so they were killed. The people were killed by the men after they built the pyramid. Did you just hear that correctly? You go back and check it out. But he said, then they were killed by the men. Right, so first they had to wait for this teacher to teach them how to build the pyramids. Now you research that name, and you see if it links back to any of this Thoth to Hootie stuff, right? Who was teaching them to build this stuff in the Americas? Remember, Egypt was here first, then it was sunk. Atlantis was sunk. Then Thoth says he went to the land of Kim, Kemet, because the dweller told him to go to where the barbarians are. He went there, and he said the people attacked him with spears, and he put his staff up, and he put a vibration on him. That's why I call it the slave vibration. Because from that point on, it's been trickery ever since. Misidentification ever since. Those people now think they're Egyptians, and they're commissioned. You go to Africa and see how many so-called Africans are claiming Egypt. The only people claiming Egypt seem to be people asleep on this side of the hemisphere. You go to Africa and, and find you a colony of people that are claiming to be these fallen angels and enamoring this stuff. But who is the thirsty ones who don't know who they are? The other side. The Western Hemisphere, or really the Eastern Hemisphere, but we won't get into that. And that's what's going on. We're claiming something they're not even claiming. Then we find the Grand Canyon and all the artifacts coming out the Grand Canyon and the pyramids or mounds here are older than the ones there. Even in Louisiana, Louisiana State University has a mound, a pyramid. These things are checking out all over the place here, and they're old. That's because this is Atlantis, and this is the part that wasn't sunk. South America, North America is the part that wasn't sunk. Do you understand? You are living in it.
in it the real thing. It is not a myth you're here now. How real is that? Right under your nose the whole time. But whose heritage is it? Who kept coming back? The Mayan and Aztecs said they came back to their mountains, back to their valleys. This is their land. This is the land of the Negro. This is the land of the people who are on the very bottom. And everybody has made a confederacy against you. To take your gold, to take your things. Look how everybody likes it over here, man. Let us find the truth. Drop something gold, man, about uh, international. And he broke down the word international. <laughs> and it basically meaning like means living in the midst of tribes. When you break down the etymology of the word international, it means that you're living in the midst of tribes. So there could be only one type of people on this earth that can truly claim to be international, right? And see how it's glorified in corporate America. It's international. But that only means in their etymology that they're living in the midst of tribes. So you being the tribes, you can't be international because you are <laughs> indigenous here. But anybody living in the midst of tribes is international. You are the Maya. You are the Negro. <laughs> you are the seed of Israel. You are the heritage of the creator. And, and notice, Israel called these people heathen too in the Bible. So, like, this must be Israel here if we're calling them heathen, right? If the Maya are calling them heathen. Hey. Like, put two and two, and two together, you know? Call heathen. I, 556, is the total count. Oh, 1556 is the total count today after 15 years. On this day, I have written how the great mounds came to be built by the lineages and all that all the things which the rulers did. They were the ones who built the mounds. Oh. Um, who built the mounds. The mounds. Oh, yeah. Took 13 cartoons in six years for them to construct them. The following was the beginning of the mounds they built. 15400s were the scores of the mounds. Oh, that's how many mounds they built. 15400s. I don't know how many that is. It's a grip. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty Gang sure somebody knows the math. It's a lot. The scores of their mounds. And 50 more made the total count of the mounds they construct constructed all over the land. From the sea to the... Does it seem like they plan, or do they have the actual math of how many mounds were built by these heathen? And why the oldest ones are here. Because they started here. Poseidon had a son named Atlas first of ten sons and they became the ten dynasty the ten di the ten kings the ten pharaohs rulers dynastic rulers atlas the plural form is atlantis atlas atlantis plural meaning many continents multiple continents so atlantis is multiple continents and some of them were sunk and some of them were not the most high never destroys order he kept Peru, Yaru, Yerusalem, Peru, Salayim, Peru, Yerusalem. He kept order. It is still here. It is still the center. Research Cusco. Base of the land. They created names for them as well as for the wells. Then a miracle was performed for them by God. Then they were burned by fire among the people of Israel. The people of old. Whoa. Yeah. Then they were burned by fire among the people of Israel. Whoa. This is talking about North America. This is the Maya. This is the record of the Katoons in years since Chak Uniz Zekab of the lineage of the Tutul Zeus departed from Veroa. So I'm going to stop here. This has been 10 minutes. It's not even about the time, though. I just I want to read the rest, like, see what's going on. So then the footnotes. You know, sometimes the footnotes are there to confuse you, but just trust the text. The people of old, crap. Then they were burned by fire among the people of Israel. This is talking about North America. This is the Maya. This is the record of the cartoons and years since Chak Uniz Zekab of the lineage of the Tutul Zeus departed from Veroa. So, I'm going to stop here. This has 
it's been 10 minutes. It's not even about the time, though. I just, I want to read the rest, like, see what's going on. So then the footnotes, you know, sometimes the footnotes are there to confuse you, but just trust the text, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm going to end it. I don't know what I'm going to name this, honestly, but this is sacred text, Native American under Maya. And then I think I believe, I believe I clicked, let me go back. I, uh, where was I? I clicked this. Wait, 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 where did I click? Uh, this one, yeah. Book of Chilam Bala of Chumnayel. So, also, this new cotton thing, I find interesting because if, um, if I looked up, holy crap, hold up, let me pause this real quick. Alright, I had to, I had to pause it to find this, but, okay, like I was saying, um, yeah, it says you cotton before and after the conquest, right? And I remember watching a video from Michael Thompson Copper Warrior or whatever and uh, wrong link. And it's so you caught and I was like, holy crap, it looks like a black guy. Look here, he has a fro and everything. So I don't know, I found that interesting. Like look at him, he's black. Like this guy's not like this one, he's this is like you know, hold up. <laughs> nah, I I don't see anybody else on this page that looks like uh, I guess. Look, man, I don't know who made these damn images. You know what I'm saying? I get it, but come on. I mean, I get it. Somebody did it. You know what I'm saying? But you telling me that this one guy looks like the other million guys from his tribe, and they all look just like that. Or will you have some that look way different, right? Way different, way different. So when you look at one, you're like, oh, okay, they all look like this. Imagine somebody tried to be like, look, uh, let me show you a Negro. <laughs> and he showed, he showed a picture of uh, uh, Muhammad Ali. Like, oh, that's what a Negro looks like. Then you see a picture of uh, Joe Frazier. <laughs> oh, that's what a Negro looks like. I mean, we're copper color, you know what I'm saying? Hair sometimes is... It's curly sometimes. It's 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 it's, it's extremely curly sometimes. It's, it's you know what I mean it's like so I don't get too much into the images personally, but you know rock with it if you want. All good. I guess like one of these guys would look like the, the fake imposters, but this guy clearly it clearly says you cotton Indian, and it's under uh, like it's under the Maya religion, so. Because he's black. Look, this guy is black. He's black. He has dark skin, copper skin, most likely, and an afro. So, like, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, let me end it now. Um, yeah, see ya. All right, man. Love to y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed that, man. Kings 2 Hallway for keeping it so real, so trill all the time. And, uh, yeah, man, um, you know, just just continue to grow from this, guys. I mean, you know, this is going to continue to, the more we want, the more we're going to get. The more we are, hey, hey, the more it is possible. The more everything is possible. The more you realize you can do anything you want to do as long as you listen to your father. You can have more than what this lucifer can promise these celebrities you can have more surely if, <laughs> if he can give the kardashians that lifestyle and jay-z and beyonce that lifestyle what can Haya do for you but if you sell yourself short to the temporary you have no clue and you'll never understand what's been designed for the permanent we are permanent we are fixtures we are indigenous other things are coming and going. The static is leaving, leaving quickly, exposing itself quickly. Static is now exposing itself so quickly these days. So I love y'all. Thank you so much for vibing. Thank you to uh, Hallway CH. Love to smiles. Love to the fam. Love to drop nation. Stay up. Suit up. Choose up.